My name is Jacqueline Clayton um, and here at COFA I'm coordinator of the ceramics studio. Designing and designing in ceramics is a real responsibility. <clears throat> Most objects um, require, call upon resources in their generation and certainly in ceramics we are using raw materials. Those raw materials are very often shipped from other places and we're using energy. So the first question that we ask ourselves is what is the longevity of the object um, that we are designing and making? Um, where are those resources coming from and how do we account from them? Generally speaking, for ceramics, the difficulty has been that manufacturers of designers of ceramics and manufacturers of ceramics here in Australia have found that it's much cheaper to take designs to China have, and have them uh, manufactured in very large industrial enterprises um, who draw on the highly skilled Chinese workforce on the extraordinary materials. Um, ceramics is not called China for nothing. There's almost a, a Silk Road event occurring in reverse uh, in the 20th and 21st century. We now have objects coming from China, again, beautifully made, extraordinary materials, highly skilled and uh, capable workforce. But this time um, they're coming in and they are very cheap and so not surprisingly um, are displacing, have displaced uh, the, the goods that have been made in Australia. As we are increasingly aware and concerned about issues of resource usage, uh, of place of manufacture, of overconsumption, then the question about why do we design is really a critical one. And I think that individuals res respond in particular kinds of ways, but for me, I would hope that part of that answer would include a challenge around developing materials that have superior capacities um, and design outcomes that are not just about replacing or restyling an existing object type or form.